What's up, curious monsters? And welcome to the lab. I'm Teacher Jackie, and I've got something fun up my sleeve today. Well, not these sleeves. I mean, you get it, whatever. Fun stuff incoming. Today, we're going to tinker and build our very own phone using just string and some cups. After that, I'll break down how it all works. Sound cool? Let's stick around. Before you head off to scrounge for the stuff that we'll need for this experiment, why not like this video and subscribe to the channel? There's a board kit out there that you could help by doing just that. Liking and subscribing helps the internet to send this video and other fun stuff just like it straight to them. When it gets there, they will be unborn. You can have fun and help the world be a little bit brighter for someone else. Alright, let's get cracking. For this one, we're going to need a long piece of string. Some cups, some scissors, and some tape. Oh, you'll also need someone on the other end of the phone. So, a mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, dog, cat, bird, turtle, or a friend is needed too. They can be your assistant. That's it. Gather those things and let's go. The first thing we will do is to punch a hole into the bottoms of the cups. We can do that in many ways. You can use your scissors to make a tiny slit, or you can use something like a pen or a pencil to bore a hole in it. I am going to use a cutter to make a hole in mine. If you have this at home, mom or dad can be the one to do it for you. Whatever you do, just make sure that the hole isn't too big. Next, we're going to need to measure out some string. This has to be pretty long. If it's too short, then the cups will be too close to each other, and you won't really need the phone to hear the other person. When the string is ready, get it into the hole at the bottom of the cups. What I like to do for this is to use a staple wire as a needle. I loop the string around one of the sides, then I squish the staple wire so that it won't catch to the sides of the hole when it's going in. Tie the ends of the string into knots so it won't slip back through the hole. You can leave the staple wire in as you tie your knots. That makes it extra secure. When the string is secure, apply tape. Lots of it. This makes it super sure that the string will stay in place. When you've done that, you're done. You've made your own phone. Here's how to use it. Take one of the cups and give the other one to your assistant. Now, all you have to do is to have one person talk into one of the cups and the other person listens. Try this out. First, try talking when the string isn't stretched. Leave it a little bit loose. Then, try it out when the string is very tight. See what happens. Magic! Alright, it's not actually magic. It's science! And here's how it all works. First, let's talk about what sound is, how it travels, and how we hear it. Sound is actually just vibrations or shaking that travels through something. Think of it like a wave. The sound comes from the source, and it shakes its way all the way to our ears. Think of it like this. Imagine me as the source of the sound, and this sheet as the sound wave. When I give it a shake, the wave will move away from me towards whomever is listening. Sound needs something to move through to, well, move. Sound can travel through gases, like the air around us, through liquids, like water in a pool, and through solids, like the table in our house. So basically, sound is just shaking, traveling through the air, the water, and the table. Sound travels through things differently because of how tightly packed together the particles in that thing are. We can hear easily through the air because sound can shake the gas very easily. 
because the particles in gas are very, very far apart and loose. Hearing underwater can sound weirdly muffled because even though the particles of water can actually move around, they're still a little bit closer together than air or gas. We can hear through solid objects too, but it depends what that solid object is made of. What it's made of determines how clear we can hear anything through it. In space, there is nothing. It's a vacuum. So sound can't really travel in space because there's nothing out there to shake through. In movies, when there's an explosion in space, we can hear it. But in actual real life outer space, there's nothing. There is no sound that you can hear in space. Now, knowing all of that, how does our string phone work? It has to do with sound traveling through a solid object. And in this case, the solid objects are the cup and the string. Your voice shakes the cup that you're speaking into. And then that cup shakes the string. And then the shaking travels from one end of the string all the way to the other side. And when it gets to the other side, it will shake the cup. And that shaking will be the sound of your voice in the other person's ear. Did you try talking through the cup when the string wasn't tight? Did it work? It probably didn't, or at least it didn't work well. Because when your voice shakes the cup and it shakes the string, the shaking can't travel properly through the string. If it's not tight, only some of the shaking can make it through the string to the other end. The rest of the shaking goes to the air around it. And if the string is so loose, the shaking probably won't make it very far in the string. You can build this phone out of a tin can too. It'll just be harder to punch a hole through, but it will still work. If you can, try building this phone out of different kinds of cups. Paper cups, plastic cups, and whatever else you have at home. See how the sound changes depending on the material of the cup that you use. Test out what you've learned about sound waves too. By trying to listen through gases, liquids, and all sorts of solids you can find around your house. If you had fun with this video, there's loads more like it on the channel. If you're done experimenting, maybe you can find new boredom busters to try. Moms and dads, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook, so you'll always be up to date with the Curious Monster Lab. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning and making today. And always remember, be brave, be kind, and stay curious.